Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing the second that I've got of the Pentridge 8th birthday uh, beers. This one is Birthdays in Orbit and this is a triple IPA at 10%. There it is. Now, uh, in the last review I said there were four, I think, beers. A Dipper, Tipper and an Imp Stout, which I've got. What was the fourth one? Another Tipper. Another tipper. Which is a little upsetting because I love tippers. They are my favourite drinks. Unless you're doing quippers, then I love a quipper. But anyway, tippers are the best I think that I can get my hands on. Because they're so... Well, they're not even that common anymore. They're kind of getting rarer and rarer because of the alcohol tax and all that bullshit. I'm not getting into it. Uh, but anyway, this is the 8th birthday tipper. 10%. Um, and it is Citra, Mosaic, Galaxy and Netron. It's suitable for vegans, there's no guff on the side, and let's just quickly admire that can art. I think that is gorgeous. It's another black can with a gold top, and it's just an astronaut in space celebrating a birthday. Party hat and some balloon. Looks great. I think it's a cool can art. I love anything to do with space. Space is cool. Um, so yeah, let's crack it open, see what we got, shall we? You don't know what that percentage for the other tip was, do you? No, probably the same as this, but anyway. This came from the Market Bottle Shop, by the way. So if you're in Preston and you want a tipper, and they have this, uh, definitely pick... No, is this sold out? Say it. I got the last one. Never mind. You can all go. Anyway, um, if you can find this in your local craft shop, pick it up, because I'd like people to drink along and see if we can pick up flavours together. Is that the quipper? Where are we? Tipper. Tipper. There we go. There's my tipper picture. That will be me after this. Anyway, there's the beer. A lovely, lovely deep orange colour with a ivory, very loose bubbled head. As you can see, it's very quickly dissipated. Um, 10%. I'm looking forward to it. Let's get a smell. See what we get, shall we? What is that? Ooh, a lot of the smells are subtle in this one. Just seeing if I can get anything. There's a little bit of guava in there. Passion fruit. Mangoes. Either my nose has stopped working, or there is not much on the smell for this. That's very, very, very mild in smell. Let's get a mouthful of body and carb. Carb's nice and light, it's soft. Body is a medium, going to a medium full body. Crisp like that. There's something there. I don't know what that is. <coughs> we'll get into it in the in the taste. Um, something there. I'm not sure. Let's give it a good taste, shall we? Cheers. Pithy, dank, it's resinous, bitter, piney. There's fruit in there, but the fruit is very reserved. You know me, I like to rant and rave, not rant and rave, but I like to sing from the rooftops about tippers. I love them, but this one's a weird one. So the alcohol is nicely hidden, but it's still there in a way. You can feel it in the back of your tongue, and you can feel it just at the top of the throat. This is a nice warm 10 percenter, you know, you, it's reminding me it's a strong beer. Sure. I think it's killing off the rest of the flavour though. Yes, I said you've got the pithiness, you've got the resinous, the dank, the bitterness, the pininess. 
That is all there. But any eating fruity. Uh. Pardon me. Seems to not want to show its face. Do you want to see if you can get any flavour from this? I'm struggling. Really struggling with this. What can you smell? Alcohol. Can you smell any fruits? Not really. That's fine. <coughs> what flavours can you get? Do you get any fruitiness? Not really. I'm struggling to get anything. I'm getting the bitterness. I'm getting the piney. I'm getting bitter. Bitter. I'm getting pine. I'm getting resinous, dank, that kind of stuff. Fruit is lacking. I think the alcohol's killed the fruit, which is annoying considering it is. It says it's citrus, mosaic, galaxy, and natural. So I should be expecting a lot of citrus, at least for citra. I'm I'm totally for both, but for citra you expect uh, mangoes, grapefruits, passion fruits. For Nectron, oranges, nectarines, that's what you get. For Mosaic, you're getting stone fruits, you're getting the pineus, which is the, yeah, sure. Uh, Galaxy, again, more stone fruits. Um, you should be expecting all this. All I'm getting is pine and then bitter. And the more, you know, the base flavours that should be helping you know balance the fruit and, and the sweetness and it should be pulling the sweetness down a little so it's not overly sweet and it's not overly fruity but I think the 10% has killed off the fruit so there's no fruit in this at all I'm not getting any any citrus I'm not getting any citra hops I'm not getting any ne nectron hops I'm not getting any uh what was it galaxy yeah I'm not getting any galaxy um the mosaic comes through yeah because it's the bitter it's the pine it's it's that side of it but then the fruitiness of the, the mosaic is not coming through either. I wonder if it's all in the bottom half of this can. If it is, then I'll tell you. But if it's not, then uh, I'll end the review. It's not there. There's no fruit. There's no sweetness. If the, if you if Pentridge, what you're going for? If you're going for the bitterness, the dank, the you know, the pine, the the resinous, that stuff. If you're going for all that, fine. But I don't think you need to add as many hops as you have. You could probably get away with two for this. With hops like Citra, Nectron, uh, Galaxy Mosaic. I'm expecting a lot of fruit in this. I'm expecting a nice sweetness, a kick, just something, a nice punch. Even at the end of the beer, fruit, you know, shit loads of fruit. I'm expecting it. There's a lot on the label, but not a lot in the drink. And I love a tipper. Everyone knows I love a tipper. They're my favourite drinks, like I said, unless it's a quipper. Uh, pardon me. And it's very rare that I give a tipper a bad review. Because I like them so much, I tend to have a bias for them that the reviews end up being good and they end up being, you know, nines, tens, stuff like that. This one is not going to be there. This is a proper. It's not. Doesn't feel right. It doesn't taste as good as it should. And again, I have had a lot of tippers. You can see my can collection. This one is lacking in what I think a tipper usually has and what a tipper should have. There's kind of an expectation with a tipper to have certain things. This one doesn't, and if that's what Pentridge are going for, fine. If you're going to switch up the game, change it all and just be like, you know, we're not, we're not going to conform to the usual rules, we're going to do something different. I like that. But I don't think they need this many hops. I don't think they need... The amount of flavours that the hops go with. I don't know. It's one of them. I don't think it works like it should do. I'm curious what the other tipper tastes like. I can't get it because I don't have it in the market bottle shop. So I can't grab it when I buy anything. 
I'm curious how it'll work though, if it's better than this one. If you've got both of them, please let me know which one's your favourite. If it's this one or the other one, I, I want to know. I want to know if you feel the same, if this one just sort of lacks the, the flavour and the excitement a tipper usually gives. And if the other one gives that, or if they're both the same, or if they're both very different, I, I want to know. This for me is not the best tipper I've had. It's the best tipper I've had. Nuclear Fog. Nuclear Fog was the best tipper I've had. And yeah, I usually with tippers, like I say, I give them 9s to 10s. This is not a 9 or a 10. This is definitely lacking. And just so you're aware, <coughs> the can does not say anything on what you should do with this. There's the can. If you want to read it, read it, pause it, give it a read. Nothing on this can says roll it, shake it, do anything with it. So you're going to drink it as it is. The dipper is better than this. And I found issues with the dipper. I thought the dipper was great. I think it should have had a thicker body. But, uh, pardon me. If the dipper had this body, perfect. But, yeah. Anyway, I'm going away. I've spent money on this, so I'm drinking it. Not happy with it. Pendridge, if this is what you've done, you need to tell people this is what you're doing because a lot of people go into tippers with a certain mind frame. This is what they expect. And I do like a beer that's changed up, but you need to give us a bit of something to say we're not going to do the usual um yeah Pentridge, uh, birthdays in orbit 8th anniversary beer a triple IPA at 10% 10% is there it's the back of the throat the back of the tongue it's, it's there it's hopefully not in your face which is nice but I think the alcohol's killed off a lot of the flavour personally I don't think it works out of 10, it's not the worst beer I've had. It's drinkable. I'll have it. I'm going to complain about it, but I'll have it. Out of 10, I hate to give a tip of this low, but I'm giving it a 6. It's a 6. Um, if you've had this, let me know down below. Um, if you had the other tipper, like I say, let me know. Let me know what you prefer. If I can find the other tipper, which I doubt it, I'll get it, I'll review it, I'll see what it's like. If I can't, you're just going to have to let me know how it is, because I do want to know. Um, if you like the video, though, thumbs up, thumbs down. I know, it's usually, I know this is a longer than usual video, way longer. Um, but it kind of needs to be said. Um, if you like the video, though, thumbs up, thumbs down. All that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so. The show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later.